This is for like the this is for like the just like the the average player that just wants to learn some basic tips. All right. No, I'm not going back to pro. I don't want to. Your boy actually had a, has an offer or two as well, but definitely not. Who do you coach? I coach hundred thieves. If you guys want to aim, just crouch when you shoot. I mean, you can crouch when you shoot too. There's a bunch of tactics you can do. Remember. Hold up. So also when I'm doing all these tips and tricks and all that stuff, like for like the, the just like the basic blackout player that's kind of like wants to learn how to aim and get a little bit better. Like remember like what Stoney said in the chat, like if you crouch and shoot, like while you're shooting, obviously it brings your aim down too. And it can help you control recoil as well. Like you can crouch up and down while you're shooting. Like people do that. If you ever watch scraps on phase, he crouches up and down a lot when he shoots. Like there's a lot of different tactics you can do to get better it's not just all like what i'm saying i'm not saying in this video that like what i say is the holy grail and you if you, if you don't follow it you're gonna be bad like there are other tips that other players do and there's probably other tips that i'm forgetting that i do myself that i'm probably not gonna put in this video and like obviously if you guys like this i'll do this more and maybe obviously if i remember some stuff i'll do another video like down the road but like this is not like me saying like yeah like if you guys got to do this you're going to be good like this is just me trying to help like play people that ask in my stream like how to get better so like these are some of the tips like this is not everything that you'll learn and obviously i might do some more videos down down the road if you guys do like this but this is just basically me trying to help out as much as i can but yeah you can crowd shoot you can obviously jump while you shoot like there's a bunch of stuff you can do as well but these are just kind of some of the basic stuff so i want to like start out with is basically why i'm doing this so just like i said before you want to land, you want to loot up, and then you want to play the outskirts if you're trying to play safe. Obviously, there's two different play styles if you're trying to play really aggressive, which is the fun way. You can always do that, but... Always want to just kind of stack your weapons before your first fight as much as you can. Play the outskirts and then, like, slowly work firing range. So hopefully I get out of firing range here. So basically, I think I got firing range clear here so I can start talking about it. Supply drop incoming. Yeah, I will definitely talk about why the paddles help and stuff uh, after this game. Just please don't forget or feel like you're annoying me if you ask a question again. I want you to ask a question again. Shot was so shaky right there. I also don't like aiming this with this gun without a scope. Okay. Okay. So basically, right now, like the way I rotate, like the circle, this is the first circle. Like I was saying before, it's like when the first circle's here, so like the way this the way this game works, obviously everyone drops on like all sides of the map, right? So like right now, I'm at the edge of the circle. I'm about to be in the safe zone for the new one. You see this entire area of the map, like that I'm like kind of circling with my little marker. They're going to be rotating from this area of the map. So, like, if you want to play for a lot of kills and you want to get into a lot of action, most of the time, this is not every time, obviously, you're going to find a lot of the majority of the kills rotating into you because there's going to be a lot of players. What the hell? There's so much, like, attachments. Is it a two-time scope? Sweet. So, yeah. There's going to be a lot of players that are playing the game that landed outside of the circle that they're going to have to rotate to, so, like your main roads and your main areas, people will be probably rotating towards the edge of the safe zone from over here as much, like, to rotate. So if you want to kind of, like, wait on those guys and play for, like, that side of the map, you can and obviously, like, hold the good map positioning. So, like, my favorite thing to do over here, as you guys always see if you watch my streams regularly, is, like, you come over here. You clear out the barns, obviously. I'm kind of trying to get here as quick as possible. You get to the barn to clear them out, make sure there's, like, nothing really under you. Check your corners. Everything seems clear. Also, having a headset and being able to hear footsteps is a big part of that. I didn't hear any footsteps, so I'm pretty sure I'm safe. And then, literally, I'm at the very edge, right? And now, this is not 100% foolproof. It's not going to work every single time. But if you guys want to wait for, like, this circle to kind of close, you might get someone someone from a construction, estates, hydro, train. Train's a hot spot to all start rotating in through you. So you can, like, hold this area and see, like, this head. Like, look how much map position I have right now. 
if anyone comes from like this area of the map, they're not killing me off this head glitch. And even if they hit good shots, I can just back down, heal, and then pop back up. You know what I mean? So like being on this roof and playing the edge of the zone is like really smart if you want to try and like catch those like late rotators that landed really far out. And a lot of the times that people land like on the outskirts of the map, they might not be that good because they're trying to avoid the action. So like you can run into some people that aren't the best of players and try and like kind of get your kill stat up. I'm not really playing for high kills right now, as you guys know. I'm more or less like explaining like a thought process. But for the first circle, if you want to play for a lot of kills, my high, my biggest recommendation is honestly just playing the edge of the circle. Like you could play like this. If you don't want to just stand still and wait, like you can rotate, like just like rotate on the edge of the circle and just like keep finding people rotating. I guarantee you right now, there's probably people like over here rotating in. Maybe people like over here rotating in. You know what I'm saying? Like you can find a bunch of people on the edge. So right now for the sake of the video, I'm just going to kind of chill. Talk to you guys a little bit. And like, see, boom, here's a rotator. I mean, I'm not killing this guy. But like, oh, where was that guy? Where did I just get shot from? But yeah, you see this? Like, if anyone comes this way, oh, look, boom, another rotator. This is like what I'm talking about here, guys. Like, if I have a sniper right now, I have a, I have a good chance of sniping them out of that car. You know what I'm saying? I obviously don't have a sniper right now. Or a lot of ammo. But... See, like, these people rotating, it's, like, depending on what gun you want, you can always play the smart. If I had a nade, like, I can obviously nade the cars. If I had mesh mines, like, you can mesh mine, obviously, the roads to kill people rotating. You catch a lot of people rotating. That's my point. So usually, I like to rotate in the river town a lot of the times. A lot of these towns and stuff have a lot of people, but they also have a lot of people in buildings camping, so you have to be smart about it. So, like, if you notice when I go in here, if you watch me a lot, I never run into buildings. And you don't ever really want to run into buildings in solos because people can be camping in, in like, in those buildings. So instead, you want to try and get up top, scan, get information. Like, don't, don't, like, just run aimlessly into buildings. So basically, like, don't just, like, run into a building and expect, like, a bad play is this. No, no information. He could be in this corner. I hope he is, and he kills me. Someone just sitting in the corner is waiting to kill me. You see what I'm saying? That's a bad play. This guy could have been right here, just camping in a corner. You would have died to a camper, and you would have just been like, oh, dude, everyone plays so lame, like... Yes, it is a very lame way to play, but at the same time, like, you put yourself in a situation to die by that player. You know what I'm saying? Where instead, if you get on top of this building and scan, like, you can scan, you don't see anyone in windows, you don't hear anything, then you make your next move. So, like, I don't see anything. Now we're going to keep it going. And, like, the best way to know if someone's in a building is if doors are open or windows are broken. So, like, right now... Like, that window's broken. So there was at least one time there was someone here. So there could be people here. Like, the storage door is open. So then this is, like, where you want to be careful. I see someone over there. Once again, like, I'm going to get up here. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to scan. See, now I have information that there's people over there. So if I want to, like, go attack those people, like, I'm going to play it smart. I know that there's one person over there and one person over there. They're just shooting at each other. So now, I don't know. I think that guy just got a kill. He did. So, like, I'm chasing this guy down. Pretty sure there's another guy near me. Yeah, there is. I hear him. See, like, now if you want to play smart, right? I know there's a guy in there. Instead of just rushing in there like a maniac as much as I want to right now, because I do that a lot. Instead of playing this smart, see, boom. I have height advantage on this guy. This guy can't go anywhere, except for into that car. So like, you see, like, if that guy was gonna try and fight me, he had no chance of obviously killing me. It was not possible, because I had the advantage. So once again, like, instead of just running and taking stupid gunfights, you always really wanna use your surroundings to scan for information and to also scan for a better positioning in the gunfight. Like. Right there, if that guy doesn't have, like, what, like, I said he had, I mean, a, a car to run, I kill him 100%. I think it's the same guy. If you see, if you refer back to the video, right, you refer back to the video, what did that guy just do? He stood still while shooting at me and got himself killed. I have five bullets in my can. This is not good. But that's the stuff I'm talking about. Like, right there is, like, why, like, he literally sat on top of the hill, stood still, and, like, asked to die because he was just standing still and also for recoil control purposes with the kn 
you want to do a lot of tapping or like slight bursts, like two to three bullet bursts. Makes the gun very easy to control from long range. But yeah, so now we keep it moving. I don't have a lot of ammo, obviously. And the same thing, I'm, right now I'm playing the edge of the circle. So when you're at the edge of the circle like this, you always want to be alert P for people behind me, coming out of the gas from behind me, to my left, to my right. Like, you always want to play this smart. And instead of me running down into a place with a bunch of buildings where there could be people, if you notice, I'm playing like the outskirts as best as I can. And even though I'm kind of running uphill, is what you do, like you don't really want to do that much. At the same time, if there's no one here and I get to the top of this hill, I have the map control. So instead of running into fracking tower where there can be a bunch of people, I play the edge of the circle, make sure no one's like obviously lurking in the gas. I'm like looking downhill. I don't see anything. Like you see how I have like I'm up top. So if anyone comes like running up this hill, I have an easier chance to like back up, use the hill as cover, back up, use the hill as cover. It's the same thing. Look, look at this guy right here. Standing still. Hit him with four bullets. He's weak. And now I have total advantage in this gunfight if I had a gun, but I don't have a gun. I should have probably looted. But I still have him trapped. Now he's running. So like right here, you see how I have him on the run and I'm, I'm staying on top of him at all times. Like he has no chance to do anything. You can always use your stuns and nades obviously in gunfights to help you out as well. And now it's an easy kill. That guy had no chance because from the start of the gunfight, he was at a disadvantage. You see where I'm coming from? So now the same thing. I'm not going to run the fracking tower and put myself in a spot where I could get shot from 80 different angles in there. He could be 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 in there. He could be, be up there. Like, I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm going to play the edge of the circle again. Same thing. I'm going to try and stay on the outskirts of the map. Uh, you can use vehicles and stuff if you want, guys. I'm not a big fan of vehicles. It's just not my thing. So for me not using vehicles, people might say, like, I'm being stupid. It's just not a thing I like to do. Sometimes I do, but for the most part, I don't. And now it's the same thing. I'm, I'm on edge. I'm really checking the, like, the edge behind me, making sure no one's behind me. I'm trying to stay near trees so if someone is behind me, I can slide and do the shouldering thing that I talked about. You know what I'm talking about? Like, all this. And I'm going to keep trying to play the edge of the circle. So right now, I'm going to try and stay at the highest point on the edge of the circle, which looks like it's kind of up here. This is more uphill. I got someone right in front of me at the edge of the circle. Me. Weak. I backed him up. I don't like vehicles just because, like, I think the play style is kind of lame. And now, the, like, you see how this vehicle is kind of used? But with that being said, there could be someone, like, in there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if I want to approach this, I want to play it smart. I don't know where he just sniped me from. You see how I'm shouldering this? How I just made him shoot? See how I'm shouldering and being annoying? Now I'm hitting him. You see how I keep recentering my shot here? That's the stuff I'm talking about, guys. So like, instead of me just taking a straight on gunfight, I'm centering. I'm being annoying. I'm shouldering. See how I keep hitting him and he has no chance because all I'm doing is popping up for a second, hitting him and popping back down. Popping up, popping back down. Now, when you're in a solo, remember, people can always come behind you. So you always got to be like aware. See? See how annoying I'm being right now? Right now, if this guy's a good player, he probably knows that I'm good as well because he can tell by my movement that I'm being annoying. That's like how you have to play this. See, he's right there. I recenter, I recenter. See, he can't even hit me. I can toy with this guy all day. See what I'm talking about? So that's the, kind of the stuff that I'm talking about, like when I play. And obviously, you always got to remember the circle's behind you, so there could be someone behind me. And right now, he's kind of pushing me out of the circle. So I want to kind of use my advantage here. Always have a hill as cover or a tree, one or the other. Always try to make sure no one's camping behind the circle behind me, which they can easily do. And it's the same thing, just being annoying over and over and over again. Further collapse expected. Travel to indicated safe zone. All right, there's a guy to my left. Close range, you pull out your submachine gun. You and he dies. Just like that. See how he was running at me? I used this hill. I popped up on the hill and popped up and killed him. Always use your advantage. Always use your surroundings as an advantage. Don't just take straight up gunfights. That guy had no advantage here. He's running through an open field at somewhere where I can, I can pop up and kill him. He runs through an open field. He had no chance. He could have been a better player than me. It doesn't matter. I still killed him. You know? So right now, guys, this is around like my favorite setup. To use like a KN or a SWAT with a sniper just because it's like my play style. Obviously, every, everyone else has their own specific play styles. But yeah. Same thing. I'm gonna try and play the edge of the circle again. There's buildings to my left, fracking tower to my right. See, so yeah, I look to my right, boom, spot someone just crouching through fracking tower. You just pa patiently wait. You missed a shot because you think. 
But like now, once again, like look at this guy. Look at the advantage I have on this guy. I'm on top of a hill. Unless I get shot in the back, this guy's got no chance, you see? He's running open through a hill. This guy's got no chance. He couldn't do he there was nothing for him to do. If he runs at me this way, I have a hill and advantage, and he's running up to me and he's dead. If he runs up through this way, he can't do anything because he's in the middle of a field. You see what I'm talking about? Always use your hills and your trees to your advantage. This guy's just gonna keep driving. There you go. The shot that I just hit is not the easiest shot, by the way. That's something that if you play the game more and you get way better, those are the shots you start hitting a little bit more, you know? <clears throat> what if we get into a position where like that guy ran away? So in, in the example of that guy, we'll, we'll go replay the gunfight. This guy is right at this tree, right? And he knows that I'm up there, right? Instead of him running, unless he had grapples where he can grapple away, instead of him running through an open field, he should have ran to this rock. He should have done throw, shoulders, shoulders, been annoying, hit me, hit me. And as soon as he hits me to like 50 health or hits me with a few bullets, that's when he makes his run. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have just ran and gave me free shots. He should have kept be, do, do, like what I was doing at that other hut. He should have been annoying. Shoulder, shoulder, boom, snipe, boom, snipe. Switch to your AR, boom. And as soon as he hits me for like two or three bullets and he knows that I have to back down and heal, that's when you make your move to run away. You see what I'm talking about? And then he could have ran to this rock. He could have used this. Then he could have ran to this tree. You know what I'm saying? Then, what do you know? Instead of him, me having advantage, I have advantage. Always have to use, you always have to use like... Your, your surroundings and your and your shoulders and your centering to really get you out of situations. Expected. See, and I said before that buildings, people in buildings. Once again, people are just running through fields. Running through fields. He should be taking that route. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just running through the field. Giving people easy pickings. And now, like, this is the best example of kind of what you guys are talking about. So, I'm at the bottom of a hill. There's eight other people left. Circle I'm not a gu guaranteeing a win. But there's eight other people left. I'm at the center of the circle. There's two ways I can play this. I could wait and see where the next circle is. Maybe it gives me like these buildings and I have a better chance. Or I play for map control and try and get to the top. Usually I like to try and get to the top because it's like what I want to do. But we're going to try and do this. <clears throat> wait. This guy's good. If that guy gets out, he's good. Yep, see? There's a good player. Immediately know he's a good player. He has a sensor dart on his mongoose, and he stops, and he got top control. You see how this guy got up top? So now I'm running downhill at this guy. Instead of me just running at this guy and being stupid, I'm going to try and play it smart. So, like, this guy is a good player. He got up top. All right. So I'm not going to challenge that guy and be dumb. I'm going to try and stay away from him. And play it a little bit smarter. So like, got someone up there. There's six other people, so we know there's two people up there. There's probably someone up up here. So we're gonna have to play this smart because there's probably gonna be a guy up here. Right. So we're gonna try. Yep. See, boom. Found him. Just like that. That was a prediction. Always predict people to be like pretty smart. I had a feeling he was gonna be up top, kind of playing the map control. And they're exactly where he was. So, now, once again, you want to clear the top of the map. Yep, boom. Top of the map, there's someone here. Sit rep. Circle collapsing. Get to sit. See how I shouldered, shot him, shouldered, shot him? I just didn't take a straight up gunfight. Always be annoying, guys. Always. Always got to be annoying. Like, look, there's two other people right now, and they're fighting. They're fighting. So right now, you want a third party and play smart. Stay on the outskirts. I'm, I'm a little bit more of a height advantage than he is. There you go. Got this guy one shot. I killed him. Last guy. Gonna grapple. Once again. I'm using my positionings to win this. You see how right now, wherever this guy is, unless he's like to my left, I have like a head glitch. I can always shoulder and be annoying. Same thing. So we know this guy is somewhere over here. He can catch me off guard and win, which happens every once in a while. He can't win them all. Or he can just hide in there. Never get and like that, you win a game. Dang it! <laughs>
So you see what I'm talking about there, guys? Like, you see how, like, for the majority of that game, I was in an advantage in almost every single gunfight that I was playing. And even the gunfights that I wasn't at an advantage, I used my shoulders and I used my hills and I used my shoulders, hit them a couple times, re -shoulders. Like, all the stuff that I just talked about previously in the video, do you see, like, where that came from now? Like, that's the stuff that, like, you can just use. You don't even have to be, like, super, super skilled. Like, some of those shots, obviously, that I hit with a sniper are a little bit, like, harder. But, like, <clears throat> majority of my kills were just me having the advantage. And you see how much easier, like, that game was than some of the games that you guys probably play on yourselves? Like, that's why, like, you can always use this to, like, better yourself. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that, obviously, on the stream. And if you're watching the YouTube video, that I'll probably throw this into the YouTube thing. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that as well. <clears throat> if you guys liked it, obviously, I'll try and do this as much as I can. Um... I'll try and do some other tips and solo squads and other stuff, etc. But for the most part, yeah. So hopefully everyone enjoyed that. That's the end of the video. Goodbye. You guys always ask me for tips, and I always say I'm going to do that, and I, I think it's about time I did it, so hopefully that helps you guys out a lot. And now, with all of that being said, now I can be a dumbass and go play solo squads and not listen to any of the tips I just gave anyone, because now I'm going to go run at people like an idiot. <laughs>